I just finished up my stream where we got a chance to have a look at the brand new straight to flyable Anvil Centurion. This vehicle was a complete surprise. Looks like it's coming in 317.2. So let's have a look at it, see what it's all about. Now your first reaction might be, hey, that's an Atlas platform vehicle. Your second reaction might be, that's four size fours. That is four size fours on the back of this vehicle. CRG are doing this kind of reveal a lot more often now. So if you want to check out these vehicles the very moment they get announced, head over to twitch.tv slash Cruncy and hopefully CRG will be awesome enough to do this for me again. So the Centurion. Centurion is the brand new Atlas platform variant similar to the Spartan and the Ballista. Unlike the Ballista, it removes all of those missiles and instead we get a remote turret with four size four weapons. <laughs> These come pre-equipped with Rhinos, however, we did confirm that you can swap them out for other size 4 weapons. Which means yes, 4 C788s. In addition, whoever's driving has access to another remote turret for on top, which comes standard with a size 3 attrition laser. For the most part, the vehicle drives exactly like you would expect a Spartan or a Ballista to, but the turret is something else. It is a very, very fast turn speed, and the guns are insane. The capacitor that's on this turret means that each one of these guns gets over 200 bullets standard. And once you've completely expended the ammo, it only takes seven seconds to recharge to completely full. This means a lot of sustained fire and not much downtime. So then the question becomes, why would you use it? Firstly, I don't think it's a vehicle that you would use over the ballista. I think it's something you would use in concert with the ballista. Whereas the ballista excels at large targets at very long range, the Centurion is most likely going to excel at low range, but get all of your light fighters. With events like Jumptown happening a lot at the moment and looking to come through also in 317.2, it's going to mean that a large collection of these kinds of vehicles, the Tonk, the Ballista, the Centurion, is going to be a huge force to be meddled with. Remember, these vehicles have an incredibly low signature. So for the most part, no one's gonna know you're there until you are already shooting them. Time to kill with four runner repeaters is not particularly long. We literally got our hands on this vehicle less than two hours ago. So I'm going to wait for some more stuff to come out from CRG, but we've got Jumptown events and Siege of Orison events happening all weekend during the PTU. I am expecting we're going to see this vehicle a lot more. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below if you like the idea of the vehicle or if you think it should have been something different. I've already heard people talking about how they would have preferred the Atlas to be a modular system rather than three different chassis. But regardless, I'm really interested in this vehicle. The Ballista is one of my favorite vehicles in game right now. If you want to see more videos about Star Citizen, make sure to subscribe, give us a like, and uh, thank you. Have a good one, guys. I'll see you out over in Jumptown.